Hello, lovely people. It's another Daily Wave episode. This should be episode three. Um, selection day. Stay safe. Well, it's basically almost over. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's just get on with it. So, I wanted to catch, get you up to speed with uh, certain things that are happening. Just a quick run through. Let me see. Um, so, we have... Land Rover, Jaguar Land Rover and VW's dispute. Now, this dispute, dispute has been around for quite some time. I think uh, all the way back, uh, back to 2016. And um, Jaguar Land Rover uh, filed a claim, claim that um, VW, in its uh, Bentley Bentayga, uh, infringed on the copyright of uh, technology they, they patented, which is the um, Land Rover, the Land Rover. Uh, Terrain response system. Now you might be asking me, I'm saying uh, a VW and what has Bentley got to do with it? Now VW actually owns a lot of uh, a lot of automakers. Like they ha they have them as subsidiaries. They own them they, uh, through buyouts and other means. So Land Rover, um, sorry, I said Land Rover. VW ha has a host of automakers and media wings. They have from Lamborghini. They have Bugatti. They have Skoda. They have Seat. They have uh, Ducati. They have a lot of um, automakers and, uh, beneath them. So um, let me quickly uh, open too many windows. I think I'm getting lost. But <clears throat> let's quickly get into it. So the main thing is that as of uh, November, as of November 2019, no, not 2019, but quite recently, as of hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, sorry. As of November nineteenth, uh, Jaguar Land Rover uh, filed a uh, filed a uh, filed a lawsuit against Bentley, and uh, has Jaguar Land Rover in this uh, Jaguar Land Rover has filed formal lawsuits against Volkswagen Group America, Porsche Cars North America, Audi of America. Automobili Lamborghini America for patents and a patent infringement. Uh, on that same day, Jaguar Land Rover filed a request to the U.S. International Trade Commission to investigate the automaker under unfair competition laws and block their vehicles' imports. Specifically, according to the contents of the letters received re released to Bloomberg, Jaguar Land Rover is targeting the Cayenne, the, the Cayenne, which is a Porsche, the Aorus Lamborghini Tiguan VW, the A6, which is uh, which are um, I think Passat, a A6, um, no, sorry, Audi, Audi, A6, Q, uh, Q5, Q7, Q8. Uh, VW owns all those, uh, all those, um, all those um, car, um, car models, not car, mo um, all those brands. They own, they also own Audi. It's, it's a long list, so if you actually check online, it's quite a number of number of people. So the thing is that they in this whole in this whole issue they are they are this is only for the US anyways it doesn't stretch out into other markets they are planning on banning VW imports a, a lot of a lot of models not just these ones that are listed over here but a lot of models from into the US markets and that's quite a huge deal because you're banning a, quite a number of cars from entering the US markets until I think until they resolve this issue oh well, the thing is that. This all started with the Bentley Bentayga back in 2016. They copied this center fascia over here that you're seeing over here. It's what started the whole, this whole thing. Now, this is very similar to what uh, Land Rover has. <clears throat> and the, the thing is that with a ter terrain response, uh, they patented it. So they basically own the tech. Now, the thing, if, if you, do, you don't know the Land Rover um, terrain response system, it's basically... Um, a way that a vehicle responds to any terrain that you suddenly drive on. There's the ADC and there's the um no, there's the hill descent control and then there's the ADTP. That's the all uh, all AT sorry ATPC. That's the all terrain uh, 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 progress control. Now the, the in 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 totality, what it does is that it helps you. Um, use terrain that usually is difficult for uh, drivers to use so you can go up a hill and you can switch into a mode where whereby it's you 
ascend up the hill or descend down the hill at a steady speed without you even uh, applying any input from uh, without you applying any input with respect to the pedals and also um the um all terrain all terrain progress reports allows you to go go you can use uh can go on certain terrains without you putting input you just all you have to do is just um steer the car and you're fine so that's that's all i have for now with respect to this in case of any updates i'll um, i'll make a video of it and share it with you and apart from that there's this tech there's this company called reviver that is um making digital digital license plates and i think it's a very awesome idea but uh, it suddenly just popped up to my mind. Well, let me just explain it to you. So you have this digital plate, digital license plate, which displays your your car's license plate, uh, your car license plate on, on your car. Now, it's hooked up to a server that's constantly speaking to the device, which is hooked up to your car. Now, one main advantage of this is that in case the car is stolen, you can alert the uh, uh, service provider that the car is stolen. And then it's, this is... Uh, the uh, information is transmitted to the the device and it's, it displays on the car that the car is stolen, the car is stolen, the car is stolen. And thinking about it, it's quite um, it's quite a wonderful idea. So it's a subscription is a subscription subscription service where you pay for the device and you also pay for uh, you using it, you using it the the service the license plates the license plate service so the device is yours but then the um, data isn't yours it's meant for the government through the service provider so uh, it's actually a, a wholly black owned a wholly black owned um company and looking at the prices it's quite expensive but then considering that it's the advantages of the tech is quite it's quite great um i'm just thinking how it would how we could implement it in Ghana. Uh, well, but apart from that, me, me just thinking about it, in case a car is stolen, you could literally just rip off the device and place it back. Well, aside from that, it's quite it's quite an interesting device. It's, I'm quite interested to implement it here. Anyway, that's all for that's all about that. And um, yeah, that's all for now. That's all for now. So um, I'll keep you up to date with anything and peace.